Hello, welcome to the LEGO Bootleg Review. This is OK Blocks from Wisdom Park, and my god, this is Kamen Rider Gaimu. Um, there's Gaim, Baron, Zingatsu, and Ryugen. Uh, all the backgrounds from the Hair Box are pretty much taken from the intro sequence of Kamen Rider Battle Ride War. In this case, it would be Battle Ride War 2 because Gaim is in the background. And yeah, you have to be a Kamen Rider fan to pretty much recognize that, and you have to be a Kamen Rider fan, you probably would pick this up. Um, so all these have pretty much boring boxes on top, just as superheroes, okay, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Uh, 1021, 5 to 12, ages, and yeah, that's Spanish there, I think Spanish, seems Spanish. Uh, basic assembly guide on the side, telling you what you, pretty much also telling you what you get inside. And on the other side, it just tells you other figures you can get on this back. 24. I wonder if they'll do the rest of them. That'd be interesting to see. And on the back it's a more detailed parts guide that says upgrades, weapons, and um, I can tell you right now that all of these are accurate except for uh, I've got three of these sets. Um, so there's 12 figures and only one of the games had a slightly different array of accessories. And keen-eyed people have probably already noticed uh, what the accessories would be and are probably quite excited to see them. But before we move on to that, these do come with cards and I do have to say for a bootleg, uh, these cards are actually really, really good uh, quality. Um, they feel smooth in the hand, uh, the cut's really nice, no jagged edges, no, I mean there's a little bit of dot here, but uh, for mo most of the parts it's really smooth. Uh, the print quality is actually pretty good. Collect them all, uh, come with a game. Um, uh, the design itself is just like the box size, a bit weird, you know, but the actual print quality is not bad. And it has strength, intelligence, rank. His intelligence is quite high. Yeah, it's a lag. Um, Kota was never the smartest guy. But uh, yeah, like I said, the quality is pretty good. So, free one. Just um, all of them are the same, just uh, actually Gaim has all of them, have, like, yeah. Uh, same characters have the same backgrounds and they just have a slightly different pose like different weapons. And for some reason the intention, rank and strength are all different for each card. So. But yeah, the card is actually pretty thick, so it's pretty good. Uh, these are really good cards for a bootleg. Um, way better than say, for example, uh, JLB cards, because you know, they're just like really thin sheets with plastic laminate and they feel cheap. Uh, better than uh, most Lee Lee cards, because those really feel like a bit like, like, ee, 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 thing, that feeling when it's just a bit, uh, a bit off. Anyway, uh, enough of off, let's lock on. Come on, the guy with orange arms. So, like I said, I've got three of these sets, so. So yeah, uh, this one comes with wrong accessories. Uh, these two have a silver version of the orange blade, a uh, black version of the Muso Saber. You can see there, has a little oxy compartment right there, it's all accurate. And, but for some reason he also has a uh, Sonic Arrow in black and a uh, Banana Spear. Uh, for some reason this one has a Melon no, Mango Punisher and not the Muso Saber. So let's put him in the back because he's not too much. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Gaim. Uh, yeah, uh, um, if I just got. I'll put these weapons down. So I'm actually on. Uh, still in the process of making my own Gaim figures. I've uh, chopped. Like, if you've seen the process of my Facebook, you see all the basic bodies are done. I just need to make all the different uh, fruit armors and do the swapping gimmick. But anyway, with these guys. Um, all of them have the same stage, it's, uh, it's a standard LEGO stage with four extra studs. Collect them all, superheroes, okay, and then the Chinese name. All of them come with these two blocks with handles, and in this case he has a green and a white one. And um, the figures themselves, uh, the leg connecting part has, uh, there's no, like, um, no to there's no little bump on the peg, so it's just sort of a smooth, but it's a little bit of a bump, not as much as Legos, but it just goes in really smoothly. Uh, the hip area is flat, just like, um, what was it, 
Oh, B-O-L-E. You know, they did Ninjago a long time ago. I haven't seen them after that. They must have, like, gone away. But, um, but you know, th these bits are flat, so they can the legs can go all the way back or all the way forward, which is good and a bad thing. If you want something accurate, then you're not getting it, but, you know, you're getting more move you know, possibility. You see here the plastic is joint because uh, there's this is a big hole in there. There's nothing there. Uh, if you pull the arms off, you can see it does follow the Lego shape. Although a bit of a deformed version of it, like it's a bit just slightly off. But which is a, it was still good though, because you can hear that click. It was a really good click. And all the hands just look like similar to official Lego hands. Um, a few of these do have loose hands, but not loose enough for you know it's still tight enough to hold up a weapon but you know still looser and underneath the helmet uh, you have a stand for a guy you have a standard blue-eyed face going mmm not happy yellow head now the torso print is actually pretty good um, not the best but it's good enough uh, and it matches the torso color is good because it matches the actual thing. No back print, so it's a bit off. Um, and of course, you know, no actual armor bits, so it doesn't look quite right. The helmet itself is molded actually really nicely. <laughs> um, it's pretty cool, the helmet. Uh, the paint is okay. It's definitely accurate in sort of a low detail way. Like, it's you know, still orange plastic with blue plastic, no, with blue paint, and uh, I think that's cool. Um, of course, the paint is slightly off center all over the place and it's missing a little red paint there on the dot, but the dot is there. So, if you do want to repaint these yourself, uh, you can probably make it look really good. But uh, for me personally, because I'm already making my own versions, the uh, best part about all of this is the accessories. The black ones, not so much. I don't care about the black ones. Actually, black Musso Sabers could do because most of the Musso Sabers are pretty much black, just with gold or silver paint on top. So I can use that. But for the most part, I want to keep the silver versions of these so I can paint them. So that's why I bought three sets. I'm gonna get rid of all of these figures because I'm not gonna. I'm gonna make my own uh, with actual Lego pieces and soft final heads from the camera the figurines. But I'm definitely gonna try. And, I'm gonna keep some of these weapons. I'm gonna keep all the silver ones and repaint them myself. Like I'm gonna paint an orange one and a red one um, for you know Bujin Gaim and Gaim. So that's that's two. I'm gonna keep like one banana and I'm gonna keep uh, all the silver Sonic arrows so I can give them four different arms. So that that's really cool. Uh, and yeah, like uh, these weapons are so good. Like this silver, you know, the silver orange blade looks really nice. Uh, the Musou saber looks surprisingly well. I wonder how they got the mold for these. Like, did they do it themselves, or was it from some obscure toy that I don't know where it came from? Because it's um, definitely not the arm, the action arms stuff. Because this is way too small for that. But it's it's really accurate. Banana Spear is also really good, uh, and the Sonic Arrow, Sonic Arrow is still good, it has the basic shape of the Sonic Arrows, but it is missing the Loxy compartment, so it's a bit off, and the way they've done it is, you know, they've got this L-shaped handlebar that just pops out, it's a bit ugly, but still, the overall shape is the Sonic Arrow, so I, I'm still happy with it, you know? Uh, next we have Baron. Baron says he's a bit odd of uh, some parts. Uh, he has a silver version of the Musou Sabers, which is going to be really useful. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, black version of the Mango Punisher, black version of the Banana Spear, and this sword, I'm really not sure what it's supposed to be. I want to say it's more similar to Wizard, but it's not. Um, can someone tell me what this sword is? I'm pretty sure it's from another Toku hero. I just can't pinpoint what it is. Um, and when you look at, if you take off Baron's helmet, he has another expression, but also still blue eyes. Uh, Baron, I think out of all these, you'll see in a sec, Baron's hel helmet's actually come out pretty good. It still looks a bit bloated like Gaim's, but um, unlike Gaim's horn, the, the horns on him are actually sort of more of an accurate shape. Gaim's helmet has his sort of horn sort of equal, on e just sort of melted into the helmet, whereas here it actually pops out, so that's that's cool. Uh, silver isn't very good because it's just a plastic with silver glitter, so it doesn't really look like metal. But other than that, it's it's pretty decent. Um, none of them have really any loose joints, just so you can take a clearer look of the torso. Again, it's just the arm printed there, but um, it's pretty good. Surprised they did these. Oh, Ryugan, which... 
could be considered actually the main character of the show because he grows up the most. Uh, so he, he he suffers the most from cheap, like just uh, armor print on his torso. It looks doesn't look very good. I mean, it still looks fun, but doesn't look very good. And also the green, because he really is, he really needs to be a metallic green to look good. He doesn't look good at all his body. But his helmet does look really good with all the purple and gold paint going around. His helmet looks really nice. Underneath the helmet, he has another facial expression with green eyes. Yeah, all of them have really, really nice helmets. I really like these. Uh, he, he he comes with a silver version of the Mango Punisher, a black version of the Orange Blade, a generic black sword, which sucks. Uh, and and this sword here reminds me of the swords from the uh, Riot Troopers in Camerata Fies. So I'm gonna take keep some of these and give them to my custom Fies. Wire Trooper figurines because they look kind of similar. Um, if not, and if not, Wire Trooper is definitely a Fies related blade. That's what they remind me of because um, of the whole bike motif. Uh, it could even be like it's not Cougars because Cougars come out and it's like a really long, sort of shiny, smooth stick where this has ridges on it, which is more similar to the Wire Trooper blade. Finally, we have uh, Zangatsu. Take the helmet off, he has red eyes and a different kind of smug face. Uh, he comes with a black version of that kind of wizard sword, but it's not a black version of uh, Fi's ish blade, a standard boring sword, and a silver version of the Sonic Arrow. So that's cool. And uh, his helmet turns out really good as well. I think all of them, it's just pretty much Gaim's helmet that looks really off. But his helmet's pretty good, pretty clear. Paints a bit off on this one, a bit of gold, smushed. And his arm is pretty okay, this one's arm is slightly off-centered. I do have to note that all of these have a weird uh, sort of glossy shine on top of the print, which I'm guessing they sort of put another layer on it to protect the print from like being rubbed off. So they're probably, you know, kind of, it's probably like really cheap printing. Uh, back of the helmet, so yeah. Mm. It's really cool. So, uh, yeah, for a, I think it's a new brand, uh, OK Toys Bootleg Lego, uh, Comrade Gaim set, I guess set one for now, is actually really good. Like, for the price you pay for, you get all these really good accessories, you got figurines that aren't loose at all, like, they're pretty solid figures, and the plastic feels pretty good in the hand. Uh, you got a high quality cards, if you do like the cards, I personally don't care about the cards, but if you do like that, those you know, having collector's cards, they are good quality. Uh, print design is questionable, but you know, that's up to taste really, if you like that style of drawings on it. But the card itself is pretty good. So good cards, uh, good accessories, figures are very solid for the most part. Accessories are mostly accurate except for one figure, so the quality control of accessories there is not bad either. Uh, you know, for bootleg that is. And the helmet uh, sculpts are also really decent. Now of course, in order to have an actual um, minifigure head inside, the helmets are a bit bigger than what I would like them to be. Like they seem just a bit bigger than what they should be. But you can pretty much say the same for uh, the Batman and Iron Man helmets from official LEGO. So in that sense, it's still okay. Uh, the torso plastic color for the most part is accurate. But of course, it only has the front print, which means it has the issues of no back print. Uh, hands are the wrong color and no leg prints, which, again, if that's something you want to paint yourself, it shouldn't be too hard to paint simple lines to make it look extra good. But for what it is, the price you pay for, um, this isn't bad at all. At least they're doing something different from all the other ones, not just rehashing the same figures again and again. And if you like Comrade Gaim and you don't have the craft skill, definitely want to pick up these because they're really not bad at all and even if one figure is a bit messed up you can always just get a second box and your most from what I can tell the quality control is pretty decent uh, yeah pretty good set I saw this I had to pick it up open the first box thought it was great and I actually bought the two more sets like a few days later because I was like oh my god this is really good subscribe suggest and comment below of course take care and have a nice day bye